Alright, welcome back to another video. First off, I want to give a huge thank you for all the comments you guys left on my last video. It's been really motivating to hear you from all around the world and knowing I'm not alone in this journey really means a lot. Your support really keeps me going and I will continue to work hard and thank you again for your kind words. As for today, I had to really lock in and fix these critical bugs some users flagged from the last video. If you are new to this channel, I am currently building an all-in-one browser extension that organizes your chats in ChatGPT and Claude. Link in the description if you want to learn more and check it out. Now, the bugs we are fixing today were mainly caused by OpenAI's new Canvas feature. One thing I've learned about developing browser extensions is you have to stay on top of changes on platforms you are building for. Whenever an update rolls out, things can break instantly. And the worst thing is, you might not even know about it until users start flagging it. So here are some tactics I recommend to make sure you catch any breaking changes early. One thing I recommend is keeping a close eye on release notes or developer blogs of the platforms you're integrating with. For example, OpenAI publishes articles whenever they push a big update and by checking these regularly, you can often catch potential breaking changes before users do. Another thing I recommend is creating a very tight feedback loop with your users. Encourage them to report bugs or at least make it as easy as possible to get in contact with you through your extension slash app. That way you can catch issues early and fast. When it comes to actually fixing bugs, I like to batch and tackle them all at once and push everything out in a single build. The less context switching, the better. Nothing is worse than grinding away on a feature only to get dragged into fixing some random bug buried deep in the code base. And since platforms like Chrome Web Store takes time to review new versions, squeezing as much as you can into each submission is key. After a few hours of deep focused work, I fixed all the bugs, submitted a new build for review, and yeah, I would say a pretty solid end to a productive session. But that's it for today. Today was one of those raw and uneventful days, but that is mostly the reality of being a startup founder. Not everything you do will be sexy or exciting, but it's the showing up that counts. If you enjoyed seeing what it's like to run a solo startup, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be posting at least one video every week showing all the behind the scenes, tips and challenges I'm facing along the way. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.